Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are looking at the Dell Inspiron Duo Netbook Touchscreen Tablet PC. This is in fact a flip screen, which I will show you in a minute, we do know. First off, we're going to go through some of the features and basic functions that the netbook contains in this standout format. So first off, I'm going to type in my password and turn up the brightness like so. So yeah, nice to look. So we see a full keyboard, not full. We haven't got a number pad on the side. Um, they have been a bit stupid with some of the keys, like the caps lock controller, short, but they are spaced, so you get that lovely feel, very nice. You got your function keys at the top. Now, in this case, the function keys are in def are not the default settings for these keys. Unfortunately, the usually the FN key controls the top logos, but in this case, it controls the function F1 to F12. So let's see what the default setting are. We see a battery, wireless, touchpad on or off. So I can turn it on or off. So see that. See the mouse isn't moving. Turn it on and the mouse starts moving. See the brightness settings on and up. We find nothing for F6. We find a mute, volume down, volume up, skip, play, and forward button. Simple keys, simple layout. We find a additional trackpad with your right and click mouse buttons. It is an Intel Atom, uh, running at gathering 1.6 gigahertz, Windows 7 built in, Wi-Fi built in as well. On the top, we find a webcam. Very nice, very cool. If we move around to the side. This side, we find focus, our power port, our headphone jack, and two USB ports located in these two holes here. On the other side, we find nothing except power LED, hard drive LED, and our power switch. If we fold this down, we find on the back standard Dell standard Dell logo with this pattern look you can see it already you see that pattern look and then there's the ventilation port for it now we've seen it's on the Baker's basic features now we see the uh, the finale the uh, showpiece of this laptop now you see my finger is just there Look, I'm not touching anything, I'm just touching the screen, right? Three, two, one, flip. As simple as that, it flips, bring it down, and done. The tablet, your netbook, is now a tablet PC with full orientation. Turn it that way around. Strained, bingo. Changes orientation. That way around. Bingo. Changes orientation. Even, bam, full 360 orientation technology. One amazing thing that is. So it is a full touchscreen. Um, you can see I can easily just touch that and uh, go to all all view all programs or back come out and I can uh, try and top up this out the uh, keyboard so if I was to go into Google Chrome for example close that down for a bit as you can see, Google Chrome works perfectly. Just minimized it. If I go into there, you see there tab, and I can easily just go to www.google. Comes up, 
click, bang, Google's there, fully touched. So overall, you can see down there, Wi-Fi switch, Wi-Fi is enabled, battery and all sorts. So it's cool, it does stay cool, it does get a bit hot after a while, but overall it's very, very good. Good for emails, web browsing, photos, videos, all sorts like that. Gaming, in some senses, gaming isn't available. You can, however, go to games, which I did do, but there we go. So we open up the games browser. Now this does come with a few preloaded games plus touch enabled, like specifically built for this game. Um, so we find the standard Minesweeper, Spine Solitaire, Solitaire. Then we find these Microsoft Titans, Rebound, Blackboard, and Garden Pond. Those are the uh, apps built for this. When we come to apps, actually, this is a big downer with the Dell. Is um, there's not really apps built for this platform because it's Windows. It's not Android or anything like that. It's primarily software is what you're going to be getting. You're not going to be getting your iOS apps, your Android apps, stuff like that. Um, can you put Android on such a machine? Don't know. Have researched. Can't find many answers to it. But obviously if you have an answer, if you can put Android on here, let me know. Because that would be good. So, this is the... Uh, End of the review for the Dell and Frontiero. It's about £500. Um, good for the train. Good for home use. Or whatever. But it depends what you need from your laptop. So see you next time.